Hello, hello. Good evening, good morning from this part of the world. Hi, my name is Shantanu and I'm a part of the community team at Hadlo One. Um, we are here back again with yet another spaces talking more about on the product side. And we have some really, really exciting product updates uh, from the OG community, OG product team that we have at Hadlo One. Uh, before we begin, uh, I just wanted to do a quick sanity check. Am I clearly audible? Okay, perfect. Awesome. So I, uh, we have the area from the product team. We have Amber, uh, Atmo, and Adhik here as well. Uh, they are from the tech side. And we'll kickstart this exciting uh, product update. And we'll do it quite often. We'll do it in a very good frequency so that you all know what's happening around uh, around Hadlo One product updates. Uh, another exciting thing that we have today is Radhika from our own community. Uh, she'll be presenting and talking more about what she's building. And this is our one of the first community spotlights. So, uh, Radhika, right after the community updates, I will let you on the stage, and the stage will be all yours. So, I'll hand over the stage to Daria. Daria, the stage is all yours. Over to you. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Shantanu. Hi. It's really exciting to see you all here on our first product town hall. We have a lot of really exciting updates to share with you, both on the platform side as well as the SDK side. So let's get started. Uh, can you all see my screen? Maybe give you give me a thumbs up if you can all see my screen. Okay, thank you. All right, so maybe I'll start with the Meet update first. So updates on the platform side. So a lot of you must have joined the previous community call where I was mostly focusing on the new addition to our platform, which is the Hudlow and Meet dashboard. This is now like the one main uh, going to be like a main product right this is where you start meetings from this is where you access all your details so this is is like a core product at the moment on the platform side so the first kind of additions that we or the features that we are bringing in are more like additions on the dashboard and the mobile app so few of the features that we'd recently be introducing are first is a few updates on the log login flow so we received a few feedback that maybe uh, people wanted like a little more like very seamless login flow, like maybe not like email and OTP. So they've preferred something like a Google auth. So that is something that we'd be soon introducing on the dashboard side. Second is we received another feedback that uh, we users wanted the option to edit and delete the scheduled events. So this is something that we are planning to ship very soon. And on the mobile app side, one of the new features that we introducing, we'd be introducing is uh, the option to join like recent meetings. So you'd be seeing your recent meetings in your home screen and you can easily just click on it and uh, join directly without having to paste the link from you know, somewhere else. So that kind of makes the whole process a little bit more easier on using the dashboard as well as the mobile app. So these are a few of the recent updates that we are planning to ship soon uh, on the dashboard specifically. Another new update that we are planning to ship uh, very soon is something called Instant Video Meet through Huddle.new. So for those of you who don't want to go through the trouble of going to the dashboard and actually starting a meeting, and if, you're, if you want to get started within like under a minute or say like in two to three seconds, then you now have the option to do that from Huddle.new. So all you need to do is open your browser like type huddle.new and if you're a logged in user you directly just be navigated to your personal video meeting room so this makes the process so much more seamless and you can get started within a second or two right so that's the second update that we'd be shipping very soon and finally um we are planning to bring in a lot of the upgrades on the add-ons so if you're a regular huddle one user then i'm sure you must have heard about the gcal add-on as well as the calcom add-on if not please check it out because this comes in very handy for someone who schedules a lot of events this is personally one of the tools that i use the most because we tend to have a lot of meetings so basically the add-ons help you schedule meetings instantly from your calendar so all you need to do is if you download the gcal add-on you go to your calendar and you click on huddle one for google workspace and it just generates a meeting link for you. So it's as easy as that. And all these meetings, uh, by default, you'd be the host of the meetings as well. So we do have this add-on available for Google Calendar as well as Calcom. So what we are planning to introduce now is a few upgrades. So we will have like new login options coming in. Previously, we supported wallets alone. Now we have support for email as well. So it will be much easier for Web2 users to use this. And in addition to that, we also will bring in the support for users to start meetings from their subdomains as well. 
So if you, you can select whether you want to generate meeting links either in Hudlow and Dot app, or if you own any subdomains, then you can generate meeting links under that subdomain also. So yeah, these are a few additions on the platform side. Now let's see what's new on the infra side. We have a lot of like really cool improve, uh, cool additions, both on the backend server SDK side, as well as when it comes to like support for more frameworks. Um, but I believe I would hand it over to Akash, our backend developer, to talk a little bit more about the upgrades on the server SDK side, as well as the API side. So Akash, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dari. That's a very great explanation. GM, GM everyone, this is Akash and uh, Dara, can you uh, stop presenting your screen notes? I would love to give our users a sneak peek onto the new features that we're going to bring. Okay, I hope my screen is visible. Uh, just give me a thumbs up if everything is crisp and clear. Okay, cool. So first of all, I would uh, like to announced this that we have recently launched uh, our server SDK version 3.4.0 and developers might have taken a note of it, right? This version comes with a big upgrade and the upgrade is now our server SDK is actually able to run on edge runtimes as well. So if you are using your application, let's say on Cloudflare Worker or you are using it on virtual edge runtime, our server SDK works on there as well right now. We have moved on from node cryptos to web crypto APIs allowing us to uh, our service to run across different runtimes. And that's a great addition on the service DK side because we had seen multiple apps moving from moving towards serverless architecture and our service DK will be supporting those, right? Next coming to the next upcoming update that we are very soon going to have. You might have noticed the open PR in our Huddle and Docs repo, right? We are going to introduce the new mm -hmm. API docs and these API docs have the new incremental version of our loan APIs. We are changing uh, some of the uh, functionalities, how our APIs works. We are bringing in more information to you. We are making it a lot more seamer for you to create rooms, to get room data. A uh, lot of improvements. When you go through it, you would really love these APIs, right? We are also bringing new standard API schemas as well in our site. Again, along with it, not limiting just to APIs. We are also getting our server SDKs as well. We also have server SDK APIs also. You might have noticed that as well. We are getting those as well. So please um, go have a look and your developers take a look at the PR, I guess. You can contribute at a huddle one docs as well. If you really want to contribute and start just contributing, that's a very good place for you to contribute. So thanks you. That's from my side. I would like to hand over back to Dario. Thanks, Akash. So uh, Akash very clearly explained about the server improvements as well as server side SDK improvements as well as the API improvements. But that's just one part of it. The second uh, place where we are kind of really expanded is when it came to like support for multiple frameworks. So when we started off, we had support for Hudlow and like SDKs in Vanilla JS, React, and React Native. We then launched the Flutter SDK a few months back. And recently, we now have support for two new frameworks as well, namely Unity WebGL SDK as well as Scotland SDK. So first, let me invite Amber. He's the best person to talk about uh, Flutter as well as Scotland SDK because he's the one who single-handedly developed both these SDKs. So Amber, over to you. Would be great if you could give an overview of both the SDKs and talk a little bit about the capabilities of the kind of applications you can build on these as well. Yeah. Uh, hi everyone, thanks Zarya. Um, Dario, can you share your screen? Sure. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Anwar. I work as a mobile engineer here at Hurdle01. So uh, we launched a Flutter SDK. It's live on pub.dev. It's already gaining a lot of significant popularity. Uh, you can head over to our SDK docs and check out the seamless integration in your Flutter app for both Android and iOS. And also we have the sample apps, uh, sample app links ready. Uh, also, we have several major Web3 clients, including Orb and Gaming, that are currently integrating our Flutter SDK into their production applications. Yeah, uh, that is next slide, please. Uh, so just a week back, uh, we launched our Kotlin SDK. Uh, so with the Kotlin SDK, you can uh, uh, have a seamless integration to Android native applications. It provides a comprehensive set of methods and event listeners streamlining to real audio and video communication. 
and you require minimal coding for it. You can check out our documentation for it. We are, uh, now in introduction, we have Fan, uh, Fan TV, which is a popular video streaming and sharing platform in Web3 space, which is an early adopter of our Kotlin SDK. Yeah, that's all that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Amber. So like Amber mentioned, we have the sample apps linked here. We'll, my, we'll share the links um, in the chat as well. So do download it and test it out. And we'd love to hear your feedback as well on your experience in using the sample applications, both on Flutter as well as uh, Kotlin SDK. The next addition we have is the Unity WebGL SDK. Now, this is particularly important because it kind of expands the use cases um, of the Hudlow and SDK because Previously, if you say that you can build audio video applications with the Unity SDK, we are talking about metaverse applications. We are talking about gaming applications. So you can be as aspirational as you want. You can build like really cool applications using the new, the latest edition, which is the Unity WebGL SDK. Uh, but I believe Adik would be the best person to talk more about it. Uh, he's the developer who built the Unity WebGL SDK. So go ahead, Adik. Thanks, Daria, for the introduction. Uh, so, Huddle, we are working on the uh, on the SDK and the plugins for the Unity as well because there is a lot of demand of metaverse, you know, 3D classrooms and, uh, uh, you know, even in the gaming, uh, if you have to share your videos and audios. So, for that, we are here to provide you all the, uh, you know, solutions uh, which you can embed in Unity while creating your games in 3D. So this particular SDK will give you a lots of uh, flexibility with uh, lots of methods and events that uh, by using which you can easily integrate the audio and video and uh, WebGL plan. So currently we have focused on WebGL only as Unity can export, uh, like uh, you can create uh, apps and games for a lot of platforms, but uh, mostly we thought that it's better to uh, work on a WebGL version. So we have uh, worked on a WebGL version. So can I show my screen that? Yeah? That's okay. Yeah, let me stop presenting. Yeah. So, like we have worked on a, like you can see my screen, right? Uh, hello? Yes, we can see your screen, I think. So, like uh, what we, uh, like uh, as a lot of developers wanted to create uh, metaverse and they want the capability of audio and video. So, we created a demo for them. So you can just, uh, you know, you know, you can use any platform like Mirror, Photon, or any multiple third party SDKs, and you can easily integrate uh, uh, way audio and video capabilities. So by using Unity, you can create, you can uh, add, you know, like uh, not just video, but you can also apply some VFX and anything if you want. If you can see, like I can change my uh, video appearance here. So when it comes to, like with 3D, you can have a, a lot of things to experiment, and that's that's what that's what we are trying to do here. Like giving you full leverage on the VFX part, but uh, yes, we are the audience. Uh, so, audience videos. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so we'll uh, share you the uh, uh, demo link, and you can check it out. Uh, that's this. Okay. Thanks, Adik. Yeah, with that, I think these are like a few updates that we have for this, like maybe like this two weeks. So we'll again meet, say, like in another two weeks or so to share like the next upcoming updates on the product side. Meanwhile, we want this to be a very collaborative experience. Like the whole idea is for us to move towards like a community driven product approach, right? So we would love if the community can also give feedback on what is it that you like about our product, it, like it can be the platform or the SDK. What is it that you want to see us build? So it can definitely help improve like the overall experience. And we can also bring like uh, specific features for you. Now you can scan this QR and then there's a short feedback form that you can fill. Uh, at the very end, there's this there's this question called, are you interested in joining, uh, like being part of the focus group? So just to give you some clarity, uh, focus group is specifically like few people that we would be uh, reaching out to from the community to test out our new application. So if we have any new beta launches, like new product launches coming in, we would first be showing these to like these focus group, um, like, you know, people who are part of the focus group and we'd get their feedback and we'll try to 
improve it based on their feedback before actually doing a proper release, right? So again, this is kind of to ensure that the whole development process is much more collaborative. So if you're interested, uh, please check like yes uh, in the last question and uh, we'll reach out to you soon. So that's it for the product updates. Uh, thanks, over to you, Shantanu. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much, Amber, uh, and the area. Thank you so much for the lovely updates. Uh, I think it's time for the community spotlight. Uh, Radhika, just give me a thumbs up if you're not ready. I am inviting you as a speaker. So Radhika is uh, the part of the community, uh, the broader community. So we are, re we are recently running an ambassador program called uh, the Huddle Advocates, and she's an active part of that community. She is building a very exciting product uh, on top of Huddle One using the exciting SDK. So uh, Radhika, stage is all yours. Uh, Adhika, can you hear me? Hello. Uh, yes. Thank you, Sham. For thank you, Shantanu, for such a sweet introduction. Um, let me brief myself. I'm Radhika Odic, uh, a pre-final year student at LNM IIT Jaipur. So, as Shantanu said, I've been a part of Huddle Ambassador Program. So, I'm building a project that is basically a Web3 with a decentralized. Uh, real-time communication platform that focuses on secure, scalable, and efficient user interaction. Um, just the way you entered into the space, there was a, a, a box of username and you can enter, you can just uh, click on enter spaces and you enter into this space. So this is exactly the kind of product I'm building, an audio space that will uh, facilitate video conferencing, peer-to-peer -peer communication, and real-time data exchange. So uh, the toolkits I'm using for this are React.js, Huddle One SDK, TypeScript, Next.js, and Huddle One Web, Web Core. Actually, all of them are very nice toolkits. I mean, the documentation part are very great. Uh, but I would like to add on to certain things which can be improved. For example, as a newbie or even if a, in a documentation part, there are, I mean, uh, there can be certain uh, initial steps that can be added so that even a newbie can, uh, uh, even a newbie can uh, see that what kind of products or what kind of things to proceed. Also, uh, I would say uh, troubleshooting and FAQ sections can be included in it. The rest, everything, documentation part is fabulous. So it's just a simple project based on audio conferencing and video conferencing. So yeah, just trying on things via basically learning via implementing. So yeah, that's that's it. Awesome. I mean, that's one of the best ways to learn anything up there. So, I mean, if you're a dev, uh, the best approach is to build and then learn. I mean, that's how I started my developer journey. But yes, uh, thank you so much, Radhika. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for briefing us about uh, the project that you're trying to build. So, uh, all the very best. And if you have any questions, you can reach us out on the dev support channel on Discord. And I think Om is already helping you out with that. But yes, uh, thank you so much. Uh, this is lovely. Uh, any final mm -hmm. notes? Uh, yes, so I think. Uh, just a second, yeah. So uh, on the final notes, Ayush, Shushmit, do you guys want to join the stage, talk more about uh, what's in the sneak peek, what else do you have, what else do we have in the house coming up? I am just inviting you on the stage. Would love to hear your thoughts. Any final thoughts? Yes, yes. Ayush, OK, I'll go for it. So I think like that's great. Like all of the community and everything is growing, and like people are getting to know more about Huddle at a very intricate level right now. So Huddle has a very like uh, a journey, like something that none of the other crypto project had. It literally started as a small project in one of the hackathon, and it was just a simple application. But with time and everything and all the community coming up together over years, we have built like these SDKs, and right now. 
the SDKs that we have are becoming like an industry class. So if you can see, like, like suppose if you want to develop the games right now, so all you can get a scalability is up to four to five people, right? With the current RTC stack that the world has, but with Huddle's GRT SDK, you can literally bring more than ten thousand people in that single game. So this actually enables like a new kind of games that can be world. Like it enables this open world and everything. And I'm quite excited for like how community builds on this thing, the primitive that like Huddle's uh, DRTC gaming SDKs that have increased. Provided on the fact like we are like continuously working 24 hours to upgrade the underlying technology because like we have more insights, gaining and learning our own in itself. And that's becoming this DRTC network. In DRTC network, we are using new primitives, crypto primitives, so that we can make it inclusive for all all the community to be part of the network on those parts. So particularly the media nodes and all of those parts. So like we are seeing, like we have a very good product suite, right? It's just not a single product. We have this huddle application, we have this huddle spaces, and we have the far house and all of those things built on top of this. And even if you they see SDKs, we don't have like single SDK or just like a standalone SDKs, there are like seven, five to six SDKs that we have, including server, and they are always on this continuous improvement. The third part is like the protocol. In that protocol also, it's like a metaverse, like uh, you have this layer three coming up. So Huddle has its own blockchain where like people can run the smart contract. So even like there is like something to for a solidity developers also on those side. It, it enables on those side of things. Right now, our future plan is more like since like our product are matured, our SDKs are matured, we are working on this DRTC network and media nodes so that we can bring it into the hand of the users and basically transition the ownership of this network to the community itself. Yeah, I think uh, just adding on, on what Shashman mentioned, first of all, uh, what Amber, uh, Acmo, as well as Adik presented. It's really fantastic and the kind of uh, opportunity ecosystem app canvas it, uh, it completely opens is uh, phenomenal. Like now just imagine the kind of things which can be built, uh, uh, not just an, a normal audio video communication app, but basically if you want to build a metaverse based app, a couple of other basically different kind of healthcare based applications or intent based application which already using hurdle zero ones, uh, the Scotland SDK, uh, as well as the SDK on the side of uh, our flutter as well. So pretty good. And now with our DRTC network coming up, you will now be able to interact uh, like directly with the network using these SDKs over time. So this uh, basically these updates, first of all, opens up a opportunity canvas of a very, very cool applications, which basically uh, the ecosystem can build themselves. So yeah, I think uh, uh, I think pretty, I'm pretty excited on uh, what everyone will be building so far. And thanks Adhika for the overall uh, suggestions which you gave as well. And, uh, and yeah, I think I'm pretty excited uh, about what is happening the next one month. You'll be hearing more from the product team as well. Product team is also building some fantastic stuff. Uh, for what is going to be unleashed in next one, one and a half months time. That's more the hint is towards the nodes. Uh, there will be a couple of node-based product updates you'll be seeing, uh, hearing from Daria and the team as well. That is also in works. And as Sushmit was mentioning, we have been working 24-7 uh, on the app side, on the SDK side, on the network side, on the crypto econ side. Uh, and having you all basically listen uh, to it and basically build on top of us and uh, support from the Discord or the Twitter or the Telegram means a lot to us. So yeah, see you again in the next uh, product community town hall. And yeah, that's all from my end. Take care. Good night. Thank you so much. Ayush, thank you so much Ushmit, for the lovely <laughs> wrap up. But yes, uh, once again, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, and thanks again to the entire product team for explaining and giving the community a sneak peek into what's up. Uh, fact, feedback matters a lot for us. So I'm sharing the feedback form all over again. Please, 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 please do share your feedback. Uh, and we'll definitely work on it and we'll get back to you. And as Tere was mentioning about uh, the, for the focus group, uh, if you're interested in having the beta access to the applications, the uh, you know, the steep to the DRCT network, or anything that you built across at Hadlova, please do uh, 
click yes on that particular uh, option and we'll get in touch with you. That's it from my side. Uh, I'm Shantanu signing off for, for this product call. And yes, uh, thank you so much again, guys. Have a wonderful week. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.